earlier tonight I watched Joker. And it was dark, it was depressing, it was deranged, it was... I, I'm kind of out of words for it. One of the most depressing movies I've watched. It depicted a city that's so run down, a large city that's really run down, taking place from... I mean, some things seem like the 70s and some things seem like the 80s. I'm not even sure exactly what part of the 80s, but it's definitely taking place in the past, The uh, where you know people just smoke cigarettes anywhere. In an interview, um, when you're talking to a social worker, you know, cigarettes, no problem. It's probably have them on airplanes too, right? Yeah, I just think about the idea of having a non-smoking section on an airplane. It's like, um, yeah, what good is that? Anyway, um, I mean, unless they have it completely sealed off or some shit, right? <laughs> oh, it's like the back back when there were the, the non-smoking sections of restaurants, right? Yeah, that's that's really helpful. <laughs> but it showed someone kind of falling apart the more they learned about who they were. Hopefully that doesn't ruin anything. I liked the fact that most of it was paced relatively slow. They, they, they didn't... There doesn't have to be ten different camera angles for a five-second... <laughs> I'm exaggerating, of course, but, you know, for, for a five-second clip of a movie. You know, they... they it was recorded... It, it, it's, it's paced like a 1970s movie. Paced kind of like Logan's Run. I appreciated that. Though, there were some things that I wish they would have spent more time on. Like, when he's reading letters, they should allow you to be able to read what's there. It's, it's written in handwriting, so you have to, to decipher, decipher the handwriting and what it's saying. And they don't show it long enough to be able to read it. You know, there were, there's more than one occurrence of that happening. And it's just like, come on! And, but then they'll zoom in on, on one part of a sentence and stay there for quite a while, for longer than what they did when, when they were zoomed out and you could actually read what was, what was there, you know, what the context or any of that was, right? But I guess in some ways that could make someone want to watch again to see if they can read more of it. There seem to be a number of things... It strikes me... This is going to sound weird. It strikes me as a movie that I could watch several times and notice something different each time. And that's cool. If it comes comes to just giving it stars, I don't I don't know if I'm ready to give it stars. I'm still kind of digesting what it what it was, what it meant. And I don't want to do give any spoilers for it, so I've got to be careful of what I do say. I don't understand how people think you know, media keeps pushing this notion that, oh, there, there could be copycats. Look out, look out, everyone, watch out. You know, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to go see it, since there's so much hype in that regard about it from media. So I went to go see it, and I, I don't understand how someone could rationally push this idea that that movie's going to push people over the edge. Or it's going to uh, indoctrinate people, or you know, or it's going to it's going to make people want to commit uh, acts of violence. And I'm like, no, not really. How would they have felt about a movie like Falling Down being released now? I don't think that kind of movie could even be made now. Though, and I, but yet I think it's one of the best. It makes a whole bunch of statements whole shit ton of statements about human nature and the you know just the way that people react to things and <clears throat> what people assume and what can happen to someone when they suddenly just don't care anymore about their own life which in turn makes someone not care about anyone else either right it's more than that i mean it's it's and I, I can't give away the whole uh, the whole plot. I, I could just say it, and then it, well, no, that that would give me a spoiler for falling down. If you haven't seen falling down, I, I recommend watching it. 
Fantastic movie, just fantastic. There were so many points in that movie where I was uncomfortable. That's not a bad thing. That might sound like it's bad, but a uh, whole bunch of scenes that made me uncomfortable, including the, uh, the gory scenes. One in particular is just, yeah, just made me squirm. It made me, made me very uncomfortable. But there's just some other scenes where they'll, like, this movie makes a number of things longer. They have those sections there for a long time, which most movies cut off so you don't feel uncomfortable. This movie lets those carry out. And you're just like, oh, it, sometimes it's just like, oh, what is, what's, what's he going to do? It's it's more than just that. It just that movie did a great job making me un uncomfortable. I'll say that because again, I don't want to give away too much. So the acting was fantastic, just fantastic. Really, really, really liked the acting. Um, most of the characters were very strong characters. I appreciate that a lot in in a movie. I mean, where you just really get a lot to know about their personality, even if you only see them for a short time. And let me tell you, that is one messed up city. One corrupt, desperate city. Just desperate. But yeah, it's, it's dark. It's disturbing. It's a bit deranged. It's depressing. As far as the message, I'm still trying to process what the message is. I mean, maybe some people could, could take it as the message saying, uh, you know, don't let society get like this. Don't let it get this bad. I, 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 can't, I really can't interpret it as, oh, we should all get violent. I, I just don't see it. I don't see the movie making people think in that way. I'd say right now I give that movie an 8 out of 10. It might bump up to a 9, in time. And if I end up watching it again and, and, you know, finding more things about it. So right now, an 8 out of 10. Now, some of the... There, there is a negative thing about the way the movie came across, and that's his workplace just didn't... I don't know, his, his workplace wasn't realistic to me. I don't mean the, the, the appearance or any of that sort of thing. I'm just... It just doesn't seem like it would run that way. It seems like people would be notified of things a lot more quickly than that. I mean, I know it's supposed to be taking place in the past before we have... Before computers are being used for a whole shit ton of things. But I still think communication would be quicker. Him being able to get away with what he got away with without being investigated right away, truly investigated right away, I mean, I guess it makes sense for a city that's corrupt and they have a lot of other shit to deal with. I don't understand the fact that some of the things that he did suddenly made him have an unknown following. They, they formed a movement. Just the fact that people were making a movement out of his singular crime that was done near the beginning, it just doesn't add up. I mean, in the movie Fight Club the character was actually going out and, and having fights. I, can, I can't uh, give much more detail than that on that movie either, unless you, you know, I mean, I don't want to give spoilers there either, but uh, yeah, he, he actually had fights, you know, sort of street fights, and got beat up. And that's why he got a following there, right? You know, that made sense. Starting a movement like that, that made sense, but just... Someone committing a crime, and now suddenly there, there's this big following and a movement? It's just, it just didn't quite add up, but, you know, that's about my only complaint. I hope I didn't give... I hope this wasn't a terrible spoiler for the movie, either. But, uh, yeah, that would be my main complaint about the movie. If it would have been a little more coherent than that, I might have initially given it more than 8 out of 10. The way that these crimes were brought up on the news you know, in the movie. They were a little suspect as well to me. Uh, there's another thing that, that just doesn't... It just didn't feel like a real place. But I appreciated the strong characters. Again, the acting was phenomenal. Well, I suppose I've went long enough. Um, 
So yeah, you know, for now anyway, I, I say an 8 out of 10.